Hi everybody, I'm Al Bernstein with another one of my video blogs. And on this one, I'm gonna talk about something I saw in my recent trip to the United Kingdom, to Great Britain to be precise, where I was calling fights for Channel 5, one of the over-the-air networks in the UK. And I saw a fight that honestly, one of the best and most exciting matches I have ever seen. And that's taking in some serious territory since I've been at this for almost 35 years. This was a match in the Maxi Muscle Nutrition Light Heavyweight Tournament, uh, which featured among the top 10 fighters in England in the light heavyweight division. This was the semifinals, and Travis Dickinson was taking on Matty Clarkson. Now, Dickinson, uh, a good boxer puncher with a lot of power in his right hand, and Matty Clarkson, a devastating body puncher who had not performed well in his quarterfinal match, and many people had kind of written him off in the tournament. They should not have. This match was extraordinary. In the very first round, Clarkson would go down and Dickinson would dominate. Then in the second round, Dickinson again put Matty Clarkson down and it looked like this was headed toward a form kind of expected fight in which Dickinson would control Clarkson. Not to be. In round three, Clarkson came back and put Dickinson down. But then in round five, something extraordinary happened. Clarkson, who had not been going to the body, which is his strong suit, he'd created several knockouts to the body before this, dug a left hook to Dickinson's side, sent him down. And three times totally in that round, Dickinson would go down via body shots. Somehow, miraculously, he would survive. The very next round, he was able to box and move and land punches from the outside, avoid getting hit with body punches, and with about 20 seconds left in the round, got Matty Clarkson in trouble, and astonishingly, referee Michael Alexander stopped the fight. Now, I say astonishingly because there were only 20 seconds left in the round, and clearly uh, Dickinson had been very close to losing this fight only a round earlier. I will say, in fairness, that Matty Clarkson had a swollen jaw, maybe a broken jaw that a doctor couldn't tell that for sure, had swelling around one of his eyes. He clearly had some injuries, but it was astonishing to me to see the referee jump in with only 20 seconds left in this match, uh, Clarkson not on the ground and not against the ropes in trouble, and stop the fight. So a very controversial stoppage. But this fight, to me, demonstrated the courage and the ability. Neither of these men are on a world-class level at this point, but they adapted in the fight. Each showed us the ability to adapt while they were under fire and while each man had some great punishment dished out to him. So the fight between Dickinson and Clarkson to me represents the best in boxing. And, and why shouldn't it be in Great Britain where there are so many great fights like that and where the boxing fans are so great as well. So it was an exciting evening and I hope we'll see these fighters again. Of course, Dickinson will be going on to face Bob Adjusev uh, in the finals of that light heavyweight tournament on Channel 5 uh, in September. And hopefully we'll see Matty Clarkson as well. These two fighters deserve some big fights in the future.